Hello everyone, if you want to visualize the performance of employees or products or display team standings in a league table, then the best option you got is to create a ranking graph. Moreover, it can be employed to show sales analysis or student performance. So, it is very important to learn creating ranking graph in Excel. So, this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to create a ranking graph in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the dataset a bit. Here we have the names of the billionaire in column B and their net worth in column C. Our target is to create a ranking graph in Excel by use of this dataset. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to create a ranking graph by the help of the graph method along with the sort command in Excel. To do that, at first, we'll select the B4 cell and press Ctrl plus A to select the whole data range. Go to the insert tab and select the insert column or bar chart section. And here we'll go for the to the column. After clicking on it, you have got the perfect graph here. But now you want to get a ranking graph. So at first, you will select C5 to C14 cell. Go to home tab and select sort and filter here. You can choose any of the section of sort smallest to largest or largest to smallest. We are trying to get the result for sort largest to smallest. So select it and then we'll have a sort warning section. Click expand the selection and click on the sort to get the graph from highest value to lowest value. You can also go for the same sort and filter option and click on the sort smallest to largest to get the sort warning section and again go for the sort to get the value from the lowest section to highest section. So that's how we can easily create a ranking graph in Excel. In our new method, we want to create a top 5 ranking graph with the help of large function. At first, we'll go to G5 cell and insert the large function. The large function is used to find the largest value along with the certain range. At first, we have two parameters, array and the k. We'll select C5 to C14 as our array and to make it absolute, we'll press F4 in the keyboard. After that, we'll go for the value here, the value we want to search for in this case. So, we'll select the E5 as our first ranking option of the K value. Now, we'll click the enter button to get the highest value here in this case. Now, if we drag down the formula, then we'll get the ranking graph for the top 5 in this case. Now, to get the names, we'll go for the F5 cell. At first, we'll insert the index function. The index function is used to retrieve a value from the range of the certain cell. We'll select the B5 to B14 as our range. And to make it absolute, we'll use again the F4 in the keyboard. In this next portion, we'll go for the next section of the match function. The match function searches for a specific value within the dataset of a certain range. Now, we'll go for the lookup value. In this case, we want to search for the G5 cell. So, we'll select it and in our next section, we'll select the lookup array, which is the area we want to search. In this case, we want to search the area of C5 to C14. And to make it permanent, we'll use F4 in the keyboard. In our next case, we have the exact match. So select 0 as our exact match. Now if we click the enter button, we get our perfect name as our first ranking. If we drag down the formula, then we'll get the top 5 rankings name and their net worth with the help of the large function and index function. Now we want to create a graph with the help of this. So we'll select the F4 to G9 cell, go to the insert tab and go for the insert column or bar chart like the previous method and here we'll select the 2D column. 
Now you will see that you have created a graph for the top 5 ranking in Excel. In our new method, we want to create a bottom 5 ranking graph with the help of the small function. It's pretty much similar to the previous method with a slightest change from largest function to smallest function. In this case, we'll use the smallest function to get the smallest value here. So at first, we'll go to the G5 cell and insert the small function to get the small value within the dataset of the range. Here, we have two parameters of array and the kth value. The array is within the value we want to search for, which is in this case C5 to C14. And to make it permanent, we'll go for F4 in the keyboard. In our next portion, we want to get the lowest value here. So we'll select the bottom most value, that means the smallest value of 1 in the E5 cell. We'll press the enter button to get the smallest value here. If we drag down the formula, then we'll get the top 5 lowest value here in the column G. Now we want to get the names also and we can easily do this by the help of index and match function like the previous method. So at first we'll write down the index function to retrieve a certain value within the range. So select B5 to B14 as our array of data range and now press F4 in the keyboard to make it permanent. In the next section, we'll go for the match function to get the match with a certain value. As a lookup value, we'll select the G5 to search for. Now, we'll go for the lookup array, which is in this case C5 to C14, and make it permanent by using F4 in the keyboard. After that, we'll go for the exact match, so I'll write down 0 for the exact match. If we click the enter button, then we'll get our perfect result in the F5 cell. Drag down the formula to use it for every cell. Now we have created our bottom 5 ranking here. But now we want to create a graph with the help of it. So I'll select the F4 to G9 cell here. Go for the insert tab and in the chart section go for insert column or chart and select 2D column. And now you have got lowest value to highest value top 5 bottom ranking in Excel with the help of the small function, index function and the graph. We can also create a ranking graph with the help of a pivot chart. So at the very beginning, go for the B4 cell and to select the whole data range, press Ctrl plus A in the keyboard. Go for the insert tab and in the chart section, go for the pivot chart. Go for the pivot chart here and the pivot chart dialog box will get open on the screen. At first, in the selection table or range, check correctly if everything is selected perfectly or not. Then, I want to get the result in the existing worksheet. So, I'll select existing worksheet. And in the location, you'll go for the E4 in this section. If you click the OK, then we'll get our perfect result here. But in the pivot chart fields, you can also select which cells you want to show or not. As I'm trying to get both the section, so I'll select name and net worth here. Now, you will also see the axis categories can be changed by using the axis and values here. So, if we go to our existing worksheet, then get your perfect result here. You can easily manipulate them or change them or modify them according to your wish. Now, we'll go for the row labels and here we'll get a option here. If you select the more sorting option, then you'll have a sort dialog box. Suppose we want to sort the dialog box according to ascending order of the net worth. So select net worth as our ascending and click OK. Then we'll see that the graph and the table has automatically changed from the lowest value to highest value. So that's how you can easily create a ranking graph with the help of a pivot chart. In our new method, we want to create a dynamic ranking graph in Excel. To do that, at first we have the name of products in the column B and sales month from column C to column F. And our target is in the first step to get the total sales. So we'll go to the G6 cell and use the sum function to get the sum of all results. So we'll go for the sum function and select the C6 to F6 values here 
and click the enter button to get the first result. Now drag down the formula to get result for every cell. So that's how you can get the total cells of every product in the column G. In the second step, we want to rank the products according to the total cells. So we'll go for the H6 cell and insert the rank dot eq function to return a rank value within the list of numbers so at first we'll go for the first total number which is in this case in the g6 cell after that we'll move on to the data range which is in this case from g6 to g15 cell and to make it permanent we'll use f4 in the keyboard after that we want to find descending order so we'll learn zero in this section if we click the enter button then we'll get our perfect result here if we drag down the formula then we'll rank the product numbers according to their total cells but there is a problem here we have got rank 8 for two cells now we want to solve it by the correction for tied ranks and we want to do it by using the countif function the countif function is used to check the repeating values so we'll go for i6 cell and insert the countif function after that we'll go for the range so select the 86 and insert the colon and go for the first value here the first value will make it permanent so we'll use f4 in the keyboard now in the criteria section we'll again go for the criteria 86 and now we'll insert minus 1 to get the value as 1 if we click the enter button then we we'll get our perfect result this value 0 means that the rank 2 has not been repeated in this section but if we drag down the formula then you'll see that where it has found no repeated value then it has shown 0 but where it has found the repetition it has shown 1 to get unique values now we'll sum both the values so we'll go to the j6 cell and now we'll insert 86 plus sign and got the i6 cell if you click the enter button you'll get your perfect unique rank here if you drag down the formula to use it to every cell then you'll get the values for every cell here so that's how you can create unique values in this section now we want to get the result for top five cells we'll go for the m6 cell and insert the combination of index and match function at first we'll insert the index function to retrieve a certain value in the error range of b6 to b15 cell and to make it permanent we'll use f4 in the keyboard in the next section we'll go for the match function the match function is used to get a match within a certain value here we have the lookup value and we'll select the value of the range here in this section after that we'll go for our next section which is in this case the ranks here so we'll go for the data range of the value the j6 to j15 and to make it permanent we'll use f4 in the keyboard after that we'll go for the exact match so we'll insert zero as our option and now we'll click the enter button to get the perfect result now drag down the formula to use it to every cell that's how you have got the top five products now we'll go for the total cells we can do the same by using the index and the match function so we'll go for the index function again and now we'll insert the value of the cells here which is in this case the g6 to g15 cells again we'll make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard in the next section we'll insert the match function so in the match function we'll again go for the values here in this value section now we want to get the value of the product which is in this case in the m6 cell after that we'll go for the data range here in the lookup array you can go for b6 to b15 and make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard after that you'll go for the values of the exact match so we'll insert zero again and if you click the enter button you get your perfect total cells according to the apple section if you drag down the formula then you'll get your perfect result in the column n so that's how you can easily get the name of the product and total cells within a dynamic range of one to five now we'll select the cells from l5 to n 10 cell go for the insert tab 
and here in the chart section go for insert column or bar chart and select 2d then you'll get your perfect ranking graph within the dynamic section so that's how we can create dynamic ranking graph in excel with the help of various formula so that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section thanks for watching us if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this